So to come up here and see the boys and girls playing on a, a pitch like this, a proper stadium, lots of fans, it's an incredible experience for the children, something that will stay with them forever. Loved every minute, I think. Having a good competitive cup at the start of the season has, has been a great wee change. Sometimes you can go in and just put a game after game and league, but I think having a wee cut in the middle, well, sorry, at the very start of the season has been brilliant, it's been refreshing. Very nerve-wracking for us. Folk, we started really well. First off, folk were maybe deserved a lead, but I think St. Tassin Bridge had fair play to them. They put us under serious amount of pressure and I'm just delighted that we managed to get there. Uh, well, I'm delighted to be Johnny. He's saying he starts on the bench. He's somebody that's unfortunately can't make it every week, so that's why he doesn't get to start often. But he's, you can see he's gigs at pace. He's got an eye for goal. It's something I would love for him to be here every week, so I'm going to go speak to his mum and dad and hopefully he can change his mind on that and get him here every week. But uh, he's brilliant. De delighted for him. Yeah. It was a terrific game today between two very strong teams. We knew it was going to be a great, a great game from watching the two semi finals. Both teams are outstanding and deserve to be in the cup final. Both teams terrific the whole way through the game and in, in the end St Anne's were just that little bit too strong, 2-1 win an extra time. Yeah, I think both of us were here on Tuesday night and we noticed the talent for both teams, uh, particularly the number 10 for St Bridget, uh, standing the other night mm -hmm. and I thought he was very well marshalled by the boys at St Anne's at the back of 23, I thought he did a great game. I thought the captain of St Anne's was solid throughout the game, the number 10 and then obviously the boy that scored the two goals, he's, he's been home with the match winner, so I it's, it's, it's a lot of talent on show. Yeah, and I think both goalkeepers deserve a wee bit of credit so, as well, it was a great performance from both keepers. The game was fantastic, you know, the, the standard of football was amazing and it's also a testimony to the Glasgow Catholic Schools FA really that, they, that they're able to put on such a, a tournament really and um, all credit to all, both teams who who I was quite amazed at the talent. It really was quite fantastic. And it was a great game, you know, either end. And uh, I thought St Bridget's were stronger at the beginning, um, but St Anne's uh, had the strategy and got through, so it was great. Yeah. It's about, you know, you know the, the children in the Catholic primary schools collect money all the time uh, for children in other parts of the world. And, you know, that sense of sharing is something that the Pope is very strong about particularly amongst children, so uh, for them to come out here today and share their talents and their football skills and so on, I think it's, it's really important for us also as an organisation to be involved with uh, and things like this, so our thanks to all the organisers uh, and so on. And also uh, the fact this is the first year and we have the Cup 
uh, and I'm hoping that next May, when I go to Rome, uh, all the national directors of the Missio and Pontifical Mission Societies come together, uh, and usually we meet the Pope and have a few words with him. So I'm hoping I'll take the cup uh, and get him to hold it. Uh, I don't know whether he'll shout, come on, St Anne's, or, but anyway, he's a man who loves his football. Uh, so I th hopefully that will happen, yeah. It's been a huge success um, when Martin from Missio phoned about a year ago uh, to discuss it. It really was ex something that excited us um, and we took it to the committee. Straight away the, the idea, they all jumped on it, you know, a competitive mm -hmm. cup at the start um, and a, a big cup as that was every team entered. Um, I think a partnership with Missio has really taken off well and delighted how the Pope Charity Cup has went this season.